Okay guys, so as I promised, in this video, I will be reviewing the Google Cloud Professional Security Engineer Certification Exam. Okay, now, this exam is not for people who didn't use Google Cloud before. So, if you are new to Google Clouds, you can go ahead and prepare for the Clouds Associates um, exam. Okay, now I went to, uh, set for this exam, which is Google Cloud associate okay now but you can use this exam as a foothold in order to understand the basic work of google cloud and those are the basic aspects in terms of networks um google application engine compute engine and all of the all of the uh, working aspects of google cloud before stepping into google cloud or the first stepping into securing google cloud okay now first so the first thing first, you need to be familiar with Google Cloud, okay? At least basic knowledge of Google Cloud, okay? Now this is first. Second, the main purpose of Google Cloud um, Security Engineer exam is to ensure that individuals who take the exam have the capabilities of securing networks hosted on Google Cloud. So suppose you have on-premises network that consists of Active Directory, I mean SharePoint Server, your, own, your infrastructure network, and you want to move all of this, all of this shit, okay? You want to move that into Google Cloud. You got to account for the security, okay, in Google Cloud. So on Google Cloud, as we mentioned in one of the videos, the shared responsibility model is divided between the user and Google, okay? So Google is responsible for the um, ground infrastructure, okay, the hardware, the data center, and you're responsible for your own data, okay. So you got to know. So what what holds at the security concept or security foundation? It's the same when you move to Google Cloud, but there are some aspects that you got to learn in order to secure your resources properly in Google Cloud. So for this purpose, you prepare for this exam. You make sure that you demonstrate the abilities to um, secure and network in Google Cloud, and then you pass the exam. Pretty easy, right? Okay. <laughs> so this is Google Cloud Certified Security Engineer the exam is all about, okay? So now let's go over the main, the basics of this exam, okay? So as far as the period concerned or goes, there, you have two hours, okay, to answer 50 questions, okay? So Google is very generous about this exam. Unlike Cisco or Microsoft or uh, the ISC2, you got like 100 questions, 200 questions, and you got to answer that in like 120 minutes. Okay. Now for this exam, it's, it's, it's I mean not too difficult. It's not too hassle. But at the same time, it's not too easy. You got to prepare. Okay. So you have two hours to answer 50 questions. Two hours for 50 questions. All right. Second. The type of questions are scenario-based questions. Of course, you're not gonna you're not gonna be. I mean, not required to um, let me say that to create networks, projects on Google Cloud. By saying scenario-based questions, I mean that most of the questions are based on, I mean, uh, putting you in a position where you have a company, okay, whose objective is to secure the resources on Google Cloud. You gotta find in the solution for this using the best practices or the best security practices in Google Cloud. That's what I mean by scenario based. We're not going to encounter uh, virtual labs. They are theoretical questions, but scenario based questions. That's two. So you got first 50 questions. Second, the questions are theoretical, but scenario based. So you got to understand the concepts firmly. Okay. Third, you have the resources and the training materials. I know there are not so much materials on the internet about this certificate but if you are armed with networking knowledge and if you have used google cloud before you're not going to find this especially if you are in the security field okay and you use google cloud before yep you're all set you can find you don't need too much resources on this exam okay if you are in this position but if you don't have experience with google cloud before or um, you're not a security guy so first you've got to prepare and study the core aspects of Google Cloud and take the Google Cloud 
certified associate in order to, I mean, to have the prerequisites, okay, of understanding how Google Cloud works and then stepping into the security aspect of this, okay? But if you're not, if you're not a security guy, you don't get a security field, this certificate is not for you, okay? Okay, let's go for the training materials. So, most, most of the guys will go for on-demand materials, okay? So, we have Google recommended two options, okay? But I will give you more resources, okay? Now, let's jump to the training materials. So, let's click on that. So, on here, you have the first course, which is on Google Cloud, uh, on Coursera, sorry. This is Google Cloud Platform Fundamental, Fundamental Core Infrastructure. Now, this core is part of a whole specialization, okay? This core is part of multiple specializations, specialization, sorry. Now, this course is very basic. When you, when you, when you enroll in this course, you'll understand the core infrastructure on, on Google Cloud, okay? And you will have virtual labs um, that help you understand the inner working of Google Cloud, okay? Now, this code is very beneficial, okay? Whether you want to enroll in the security of Google Cloud or you want to understand the, the, the concepts of Google Cloud, this course is very fundamental. You gotta take this course. It's, I mean, compulsory, okay? No choice. Now, this is the first course, okay? The second course is, I think it's the same. Yep. So the second core is security in Google Cloud Platform Specialization. Specialization. Fuck. Okay. Now, um, this specialization has three courses. Okay. Now, let me go to the specialization itself. How do I go to the specialization? Okay. Here. So I have three courses. All right. The first course is all about teaching you the core infrastructure of Google Cloud Platform. This is compulsory, guys. The second and third course is all about security. Now, from my experience, I took all the three courses over here, and they are well, I mean, they're well put, okay? And all of the training materials on these courses are, I mean, not comprehensive, but it covers, I mean, a broad aspect of Google Cloud infrastructure and the security aspect of this, okay? So, I mean, in my opinion, the Coursera, the specialization on Coursera is compulsory to understand the concepts, the theories, the foundations, and to get hands-on experience on securing resources in Google Cloud. These courses have virtual labs. They are very beneficial. Go for them. Um, and of course, at the end, you will get certificate from Coursera and Google of course, not the same certificate as this one, but it's the certificate that demonstrates that you have the knowledge of, um, I mean, let's say the knowledge, the knowledge, let's say the knowledge, okay, the knowledge and the experience, the basic experience of securing resources, resources on Google Cloud, okay. Now, I will put the link in the video description for you to understand and to get an idea about this course, okay. Now, um, the second resource is QWIC Labs. Well, QWIC Labs is, uh, they are, I mean, in the same course here, you don't, you don't need to worry about the labs. You can find the labs when you enroll in this specialization, okay. And that's the first resource, which is Coursera. Now, let me close this, guys, and open another interface over here. Okay, now the second resource is Plural Sites. Okay, now Plural Sites, this course is all about Cloud Armor. Okay, now Cloud Armor is, I mean, a resource in Google Cloud or a tool in Google Cloud that helps you protect your resources, especially okay, your uh, web services and backend services against denial of service attacks and, the, and data loss prevention. Now, actually, Google Cloud Armor, okay, this tool uh, is covered on the exam. You need to understand 
the uh, not how to use the Google Cloud Armor, okay, but at least you need to understand the basic purpose of Google Cloud Armor, which is preventing um, denial of service attacks and using the data loss prevention API. So this code is very beneficial if you if you got a no deep knowledge about this. But Google Cloud Armor is covered in Coursera courses. All right. Okay. Let's move that over here. The second resource. Uh, let's call that. Okay. Now this code is all about stack driver. Okay, stack driver is a tool in Google Cloud that enables you to audit, monitor, and log all of the activities that's taking place in your Google Cloud resources. It's you, you can see you can say that stack driver is like Splunk or a syslog tool on your own premises. It's a tool that enables you to monitor, log, understand what's happening on your network to enhance the process of incident response. Of course, stack driver is covered well on the exam, but understand this. I recommend taking this course, at least in the three-day trial, three ten day trial, okay? At least understand the concept behind stack driver. Okay. Um uh, what's next? Let me see guys over here. Wow, okay, this is big. Now this course by Plural Sites, it's all about regulating resource usage using Google Cloud IIM. Well, hats off guys, Google Cloud IIM Identity Access Management. I, if I can say 50% of the exam is about identity access management. Be sure to understand how to use organizational level controls, your permissions, your roles, your service accounts, how to control access to your resources using Google Cloud IAM. It's very, it's, I mean, very important. I can, it's enough said, guys. Okay. Uh, what do we have over here? Well, also, this is a course managing cloud resources using Google Stack Driver. We talk about Stack Driver. You're gonna see like three to four questions about Stack Driver. And you're gonna see like the rest of the questions. You have Google Cl Cloud IAM items access permissions. I mean, very important. I can't stop <laughs> talking about Cloud IAM. Okay. Uh, okay. Now you have plural sites, okay, and you have Coursera. Uh, in my opinion, okay, if you cover What's what, what 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 what's being taught on Coursera, and understand the virtual labs, you will form a basic, if not an intermediate knowledge about security in Google Cloud. If you want to enhance more, just go to Plural Site. It all depends on your level, okay, in Google Cloud. If you are an advanced user, just go ahead and set for the exam. If you are an intermediate user, these courses are beneficial for you. Now, the rest of the training materials are documents. Okay, I will make sure all of these documents are listed in the video description. So you can grab or uh, grab, a view about, grab a view on these documents and have full preparation on this exam. Now guys, the exam is not so much difficult, okay? If you, if you have used Google Cloud before and understand the network concepts of Google Cloud, and you take the Coursera courses, Plural Site is a plus and bonus, because they are practical courses, okay? And you read the documents that I will list in the, that I will list in the uh, description, you will form, let's say you will form like 75 to 80% possibility of passing the exam, okay? The rest depends on your previous experience. I can't say much. Um, now, let me tell you guys what's the most important topics for this exam. And there are no spoilers. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, where? The facts. I'm looking for the, the objectives. 
we got that he's the objective of this exam. Okay, the outline. So let's view the outline over here. Okay, before preparing or after preparing for the exam, go take a look at these objectives or outline and make sure you covered all, all of that. Okay, we need to cover all of that. Okay, now I can't say that all of these outline, all of these, I mean, topics, okay, and bullet points are being tested for in the exam. But without without spoilers, guys, I will tell you what's the most important. Okay, like what's what's what are the things that you need to focus on in order to be prepared, like seventy five to eighty percent of the exam. Okay, let's start. Okay, so you have the cloud identity, very important. Focus on that. You gotta have like five to six questions about cloud identity. You're gonna have like two. Two to one question about cloud directory synchronization in a scenario based, of course. Now, service accounts, oh my gosh, huge. Um, yep, managing and implementing authorization controls. Of course, using IIM and ACLs. Bunch of the questions, bunch of the questions on identity access permissions and access control list. Bunch of questions, guys, focus on this. Uh, okay, now the hierarchies are also important, okay? It's like, you will be asked, what's the best practice when you, when it comes to organization folders and separation of duties and the separation of projects, etc. You will be asked for this, it's also important. But IIM and SELs, huge, guys. 40% of the exam on, on this. The guys have a they have a point of giving too much weight on IAM and SELs. You know what, guys? Because the most important security aspect is separation of duties and the principle of least privilege. And you can't cover that without separating the roles, the permissions, depending on the user's needs and these are job duties, of course. Now, as far as network security goes, now, virtual private cloud is a huge. Network firewalls are huge. Load balances are huge, guys. I can't say much. As far as data protection goes, guys, encryption, encryption, encryption three times at first and transit, especially the uh, terms, the, 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 uh, I want to use managed supplies, I want to use customer managed keys. I want to use customer supplied keys. I want to use Google managed keys. Very important. Um, audit logs, stack driver, and the log things. And audit log, audit and monitoring, also important. Um, yep, cloud security scanners and for city. You'll be asked, you'll be set for scenarios where you're going to choose what's the What's the, the, the right usage of the security tools in Google Cloud? Cloud Security Scanner, Force City, Cloud Armor, you should know. Now for compliance, there are no specific questions on compliance, but there are questions that the compliance principle is included as part of answering the questions correctly. So you're gonna grasp, you're gonna grasp the, um, the foundations and principles of compliance in Google Cloud and focus on the PCI DSS, okay, Payment Car Industry Data Security Standard. You, 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 will, you will see like three to five questions about this. All right, guys. So this is it, guys. This is the exam. I passed the exam like a week ago and I got a certificate and I hope you will do the same. Okay, guys, just prepare well, chill and See you in the next video. I will make sure all of the resources are put down in the video description. See you guys.